Why am I such a big fan of cowpeas? Why do I plant cowpeas? I'm gonna answer that question today in today's video. There's several things about cowpeas that just pop up to mind to me immediately. Uh, number one, they're extremely palatable to deer. They're very attractive to deer. Uh, they grow very quickly. Uh, they have a good tolerance to drought and they have a great root system uh, that helps fixate nitrogen in the soil. And, and it's just, it has a deep tap root. It's just a really beneficial uh, plant for food plots and for cover crops. So, that's why I plant them directly. But the biggest thing is that I've learned over the years what works in my land, on my ground, and what doesn't. And you're gonna to have to experiment with the same thing. Hopefully what you learned from this video today will help save you money. Uh, it, it definitely uh, is a trial and error for me. Uh, I, like I said, I've learned what, what works. I love soybeans, but we're just too hot and too droughty down here unless you irrigated. They just wouldn't, wouldn't survive, wouldn't do well at all. Um, I planted some other things like mung beans and they do really well, but they, they can't stand up to the browse pressure. It's a much smaller plant. Uh, cowpeas, if they can get started, they'll you know kind of stay ahead of the deer a little bit as long as you know there's adequate rain. It doesn't have to be a lot of rain, but just enough rain to keep it growing. And then there's another plant that's in the same family. It's kind of a super cowpea. It's Lab Lab, and I love that. It, it grows to me almost twice as much as the cowpeas. It'll vine and, and make just a huge amount of forage for my deer. But that's the biggest reason why I'm gonna plant it. Um, it just does well in our soil, and, and it, it's a good crop rotation for me. So like, in, in the spring or summer, I'm getting ready to plant here in a, in a couple of months when the soil temperatures get about 70 degrees. But I plant that in the ground with some other things like sorghum uh, so it can vine off of and create some structure so that it can it can really expand and, and, it, and it does really well. And then I'll follow up in, in the winter time with some rye. As a matter of fact, I have rye in the ground right now uh, with some brassicas and other things and, and Austrian winter peas. Now, where the Austrian winter peas are, I'm gonna go ahead and put sorghum in there. But uh, the, the one I really love is cowpeas. If I can find some Lab Lab this year, which is difficult with COVID and everything that's going on, it's difficult to find what you're looking for. Uh, and you're gonna, definitely gonna pay uh, for shipping. The Lab Lab is, uh, I believe last time I checked was around 40%, 38% uh, protein. So it's, it's incredible. Uh, our two biggest bucks uh, were actually killed uh, in years when we had uh, a great Lab Lab food plot going on. Um, we had one buck that that uh, he uh, grossed 192 inches. He netted 185. That's a big buck. Um, then uh, uh, another buck that that I shot uh, the year before, he uh, netted 160. Uh, he made the Boone and Crockett record book for you know the. 160 minimum, so he's not in the the, the permanent book, but he was in uh, that book that year. That's kind of where we're at. I'm excited about it. It gives those bucks um, great nutrition so that they can get ahead of the curve. Uh, right now, they're eating on Austrian winter peas in the back area, and so they've got plenty to, to, to browse on. Most of our bucks have already shed their, their antlers. Some have not. 
My wife's given me this antler here. I just found this uh, last week. Boy, that's a great looking antler right there. Um, he He's in need right now for, for good protein. He's already dropped his shed. There was a, uh, it's drying up now, but there was a little bit of blood on that shed. But he needs protein. Big, heavy, heavy deer. We passed him this year. He's going to be something else next year. Um, but the, the, the cow peas provide quality nutrition for the does who are lactating and quality nutrition for the bucks who desperately need that for their antlers. Some other things that we're going to be doing this year is we're going to be feeding some soybeans. Not, not a lot because it's, they're pretty expensive this year, but I'm going to put out some soybeans every week and, and let the deer have something to eat. And uh, anyway, we're excited about that, but I wanted to share that with you today. Cow peas, check it out. Uh, there's a number of great resources to be able to look at. I'm going to put some links down in the description. You, you can look at some of the values of cow peas. Uh, but it's one of my favorites. It grows well in this land down here. It's deer candy. They, they love it. But it's high in protein as well. Now, Lab Lab, I'm going to try to get some Lab Lab this year and mix it up with my cow peas. But uh, anyway... That's what we're going to do, and uh, I'm excited about it. It's great for the soil. It's fun to watch that grow, but uh, I'll give you an update on the next video. Thank you for watching the video today. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe if I've added any value at all for you, or wait till you plant the cow peas, and if you like what's going on, come back and give me a like. I would greatly appreciate that. But again, thanks for watching the video. Make it a great day. Go enjoy the outdoors, and may God bless you.